Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Extension 777 Sunday. Welcome to Extension 777 Sunday. The service is going to be a little bit different. Children can stay for the entire service. Please write your prayers and praises in the insert in your bulletin and drop them in the offering bag at the end of service. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared for God. All of our fashion. What bothers me about today's culture is kind of how people turn a blind eye. People's standards are like going down. They're, they're not as strong as they once were. They really encourage a life that it's all about the individual and nothing about the bigger picture of things like, oh, world, and I thought it was going to be all cool and like, oh, how magical the world, it's so pretty, but really it's like, no, sadness. Just this focus on like um, ourselves and it's all about us and we're, you know, self-centered and, you know, we think we're the center of the universe. Like everything keeps reminding people that you are the one that matters and you can make your world whatever you want it to be. For some reason, the church has bought into this. People are afraid to really have a strong opinion. They try to be more tolerant, they try to be more understanding, and in the process, sometimes they compromise their virtues. It does, it bothers me that a lot of Christians nowadays, they tend to only get pick and choose the rules that they feel are right. I think so many Christians are blending in with the world and they're just starting to look and act and talk like the world. Everyone's a bit too comfortable. We have such a bad reputation among a lot of more society members. Some people in the church think that they can't do anything to help. They, they have other things they need to do. Like I have school and I have work, but um, you know I still try to make time. I, don't, I think a lot of people don't try to make time. But really, uh, anyone can do it from all ages. We're, we're so concentrated on what we want our church to be for us, but we're not really thinking about what this church can be for, for the rest of the world or what we can be for God. Kids in our generation don't know how to go out and uh, spread the word. As a church, like we have, to, we have to stand up for certain things. The church is the bride of Christ, and I really believe that. And if we act like the bride of Christ, and we really do things, like what can we do? What amazing and glorious things will happen? It will be so beautiful. We're called as Christians to be different. We're to be the salt and the light, and um, blending in is not representing Christ well. Uh, the way we are right now, it really wouldn't really take much to uh, break us all down. I'm really excited about our service because um, I think we're making it very different from the um, typical Sunday. I hope people get an understanding of what it means to be on fire for God. I hope that people really walk away from this um, kind of reevaluating your own walk with Christ. Feeling a lot more motivated and energized to really get out there and um, make a difference in the world and really shine as one of God's lights. I'm hoping um, that people will be able to um, read God's Word and apply it to their lives and see His truth and who God wants us to be and to actually live that out. Am I really where I think I should be? And if I'm not satisfied where I think I should be, what are you going to do about it? I hope that people can go out and they're able to spread the Word of God and share it with others and what they have learned in their lives. This is a little bit of us. This is what we experience. Here's a piece of what we're passionate about. We pray that God will open your hearts today to really accept and hear this message that we have to share with you. God is going to work through our service today. I'm so excited for what he has and what he will show us.